Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. I'm going to show you how to fill out a Japanese waybill. Let's say that you need to send something to someone in Japan, most likely a customer or a business. Then you would use this service. This is Takubin, cash on delivery, Chakobarai. That means that the recipient must pay for the shipping cost, not you. This service is provided by Yamato Transport or better known as Kuroneko Yamato. You can go directly to Yamato Transport or you can go to either Family Mart or 7-Eleven to get this form and send your package. When you go to a Japanese convenience store as mentioned and look for the form but you can't find it just ask the clerk. Sumimasen. Chakobarai onegaishimasu. Then you'll be directed to the forms or form. You can fill the form out at the store or take it home. Note there may be some restrictions depending on what you're sending and the size of the box. I think it's up to 180 centimeters. You're looking at a Japanese waybill or takubin provided by Yamato Transport Services or Kuroneko Yamato. This mother cat and kitten logo. They're all over Japan. Anyway, let's say that you need to send something to someone in Japan, but you don't want to pay for the delivery. This is the form that you need to get. You can get this form at two of the main Japanese convenience stores, Family Mart or 7-Eleven. I got this from 7-Eleven. Note, there are certain restrictions depending on the size of depending on the size depending on the size of depending on the size depending on what you're planning to send and the size of it I think it's up to 180 centimeters anyway I'm going to explain how to fill this form out you walk into those convenience stores and look for these forms if you can't find them just say sumimasen chakubarai onegaishimasu that's it okay you say excuse me COD service please okay once you get this form, you can either fill it out at the store or take it home. Make sure that the recipient is willing to pay for the shipping cost before you send this out. Otherwise, you'll have some trouble. Here you have the English word too. This is the recipient's information. Here is their postal code, their telephone number, and in English, receiver's address, so you can write in Romaji and here the receiver's name. If it's a company, just write, for example, Amazon Japan. If it's in kanji and you can't read or write it, ask the clerk to help you out if they're not busy. Here it says from, this is your information. Here you need to write your postal code, then your telephone number or cell phone number, then shipper's address, that's your address, and then shipper's name your name. This Japanese means when you hope the package to be delivered by. Right now it's December 10th so if I wrote 12-10 the clerk may say I'm sorry not the 10th but the 13th three days later. Would that be alright? Well what other choice have you got? So yes so they'll write 12-13 for example. If you do not have a specific time you want the package delivered by, check this box. All right. If you know the exact time, choose from these boxes. So between 1400 and 1600, that's 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Or from 1600 to 1800, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Or 1800 to 2000, that is 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Or from 1900 to 2100, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. All right, then you need to write the contents. You can write in English or in Japanese. If it's a battery, you write battery, all right, or batari in katakana English. Don't write anything here, this is for the clerk. Okay, when you're done, show the clerk this and your package, they'll measure it, and then you'll get a receipt. You'll be getting this sheet with a stamp by the clerk. 
All right, and then you're done. Don't lose it. You can always track it. And now you know how to fill out a Chakubarai COD waybill from Family Mart or 7-Eleven. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck. Bye.